there everybody this is 22 tiger dude here and i'm here to review a united kingdom so a united kingdom is directed by ame asante who also directed bell a very solid film the film stars david oyelowo rosamund pike and tom felton so a united kingdom tells the story of saritza gama the prince of bechuana land who is studying law in britain to prepare to take the throne of his land and while he's there he meets a woman named Ruth Williams. They both instantly fall in love with each other. However, the struggle is that they can't be together because of their race. So now they're facing this whole situation where they have to fight for their love, they have to stick together, and also help the people in Saritzi's land. So A United Kingdom is a film I was really looking forward to. I really like the trailer. And also because it's from the same director of Bell, I thought Bell was a very well done film and plus you have a talented cast here you have David O. Yellow here you have Roseman Pike here you have Draco from the Harry Potter films Tom Felton he's in this film too so you have a great cast you have a great director and you have a true story that just looks so freaking interesting and after seeing a United Kingdom I'm gonna be honest I was pretty disappointed with this one which is unfortunate because the true story that they're telling looked like a remarkable story but watching a united kingdom sure a decent and i and i can't say good per se a decent portion of this film was interesting it was intriguing but unfortunately this film was not very memorable. It really wasn't the memorable biopic I'm sure the filmmakers and the cast thought it was going to be. But of course there are good things that I do have with the United Kingdom. First of all, the performances. Everyone is really great here, especially from the two leads, David Oyelowo and Rosamund Pike. They're terrific in this film. They both give it their all and their chemistry is so strong you believe that these two really love each other because of their convincing performances you can buy that the characters Saritzi and Ruth you know this is based on a true story but as it's being told on screen you really do believe that these two really love each other they're facing some harsh times where just because Saritze is black and Ruth is white they can't fall in love with each other and of course there's a little something in Saritze's land where he has to help his people so he also has that to uh, worry about. I thought Amma did do a very good job directing this film direction wise. This is a very well directed movie. The shots, some of the shots in this film looked very, very great. D this film does have, for the most part, I will say, some beautiful cinematography. Most of the cinematography in this film looked absolutely gorgeous and I did feel like I was in the story for at least a decent portion of the film and I was very interested once we got to arrive in Saritzi's land and we got to see these people I thought the actor that played his uncle although not in this film that much I thought he did a very good job and David O. Yellow just to really show how great this actor is one of the best scenes if not maybe the best scene in this film and if you've seen the trailer you have seen a glimpse of this moment but it's when he's saying he loves his land he loves his people but he also loves his wife it was so powerful every ounce of dialogue that David Oyelowo d delivered in that scene alone was powerful and my heart was actually pounding during that entire scene just the writing in that scene was terrific and there were scenes like that where some stuff was powerful and some stuff was very well written it's just too bad that the rest of this movie couldn't really deliver what some moments of this movie really did deliver as far as music the music did sound really great it did fit the tone of this film tom felton i have to say he does do a very good job as the district commissioner although yes he is typecasted as these bad guys but he does do a good job for what he does and how he does portray as the district commissioner 
partner, this man that will do anything to make sure that Kama and Ruth don't get married. He was very believable in his role and everyone else, they do a believable job. One of the things I'll give this movie credit for is how they do explore the whole racial stuff. Like some of the stuff we've been seeing lately in movies where it deals with how people are prejudiced. We have been seeing that in movies lately, but I am happy that movies have been doing that lately because I think it is important as part of our history. I think it is something people should be more aware about. And this show how powerful Saritze and Ruth's love, just how strong it is because despite everything these two have gone through, they've never lost sight of their love. They always stay together for the good and the bad. But yes, like I said, this film does have problems that do keep it from not being very memorable, which is unfortunate, but the first problem I had with this film is the first 20 minutes. I thought this movie was very slow. It was very hard for me to get really into it. The cinematography I didn't even think was that well lit. There were some times where I thought the cinematography, like the sun kind of got into the cinematography. So I did think that was a little bit distracting. Just couldn't get into the first 20 minutes because of how slow it is, the execution of it all. And another big problem I had with this film was actually the editing. Surprisingly, I thought some of the editing was actually very choppy. Like one moment you'll see David O'Yell and Rosamund Pike, you know, you'll see them in Britain, but then you'll see them get married, and then you'll see them in David Oyelowo's land, you know, Saritzi's land, and then there's the district commissioner played by Tom Felton. The movie just goes all over the place, and so because of that, the way it would cut to other scenes, it really did take me out of the moment. Just the structure of the film, I felt was actually very messy at times, and certain scenes, I even felt like the editing, they could have really trimmed down, because I thought certain scenes scenes did drag a little too long in the film. Some of the dialogue I also did feel was forced and I feel bad saying this but there was actually times where I felt like I was watching a Lifetime movie. Even sometimes the music I thought kind of felt like a Lifetime movie and I really don't like saying that because I know this is a movie based on a true story. I know the filmmakers were very passionate of telling this true story but there were just times where I didn't think the dialogue was very natural like I said, some of the cinematography in the beginning, not only in the beginning, but I even thought certain shots during the film I thought could have been lit better. And the last problem I did have with the United Kingdom is just that it felt too by the numbers. Like, I have no problem watching a movie that is by the numbers and is predictable and all that. Because obviously with these based on true story movies, you're always going to know how it ends. But I felt how a United Kingdom was executed and because I wasn't really as invested in this film as I wanted to, that's where the film felt way too by the numbers, in my opinion. I also forgot to mention that anytime the film would cut to the, the subplot with the British government, unfortunately, I did not find that to be very interesting. The scenes where Ruth is speaking out for her own husband, I found those scenes to be more interesting, but when it would cut back to the scenes with the British government, government and the whole political stuff behind it. I was really bored when it came to that and I thought it was the most boring aspect when it came to a United Kingdom. Overall, a United Kingdom, I'm not gonna lie, I was disappointed with this film because I was looking forward to it. There's just something about this film that doesn't make it as memorable compared to some of the other biopics I've been seeing lately. Like I said, the performances are strong. There are some powerful moments. It does deal with the topic of race very well, which I do appreciate, but some scenes drag way too long. Even the editing I thought was memorable Messy. Every time the film would cut to the government and what they want to do with this whole thing, I didn't even find the stuff with the government to really be that interesting. And honestly, the more I think about this film, the more forgettable it is. I'm going to give a United Kingdom two and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think about a United Kingdom. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.